Good morning. This is Dr. Susan Mara with Dr. Mara's Medical Minutes. And today we're going to talk about um, Lyme disease as the great imitator. You all remember Juju. Juju is my 11 week old French bulldog who just likes to hang out with me and is learning the ropes of the office. So uh, I hope you can welcome her. She's really a wonderful dog and she's very calm and chill. So why is Lyme disease considered the great imitator? The reason is, is because many syndromes, including lupus, Sjogren's, rheumatoid arthritis, things like SIBO, um, IBS, these are, are uh, health medical illnesses that can be caused by Lyme or they can be caused by something else. So Lyme disease is considered the great imitator because it looks like many different things. It can be Parkinson disease, it can be ALS, it can be MS, it can be a whole host of different illnesses. And so one of the things that you need to do in a differential is to look for tick-borne illness. The other thing you need to do is to look for mold illness because mycotoxins can also be the great imitator. You know, they can cause demyelination, so it can look like MS, it can look like SIBO, it can look like um, chronic fatigue. I mean, it can look like a host of things as well. So you have to figure out what is the root cause of these symptoms. And a lot of times it's infectious and a lot of times it's caused by the spirochete, Borrelia burgdorferi, which causes Lyme disease and relapsing fever. So, unfortunately, the medical establishment does not recognize that Lyme disease can take so many forms. And that's why so many of you go undiagnosed, is because they aren't looking for infectious etiology, infectious origin. And so, you know, for example, let's say you had um, um, juvenile arth arthritis and they put you on a biologic like methotrexate. Um, methotrexate is severely immunocompromising. So that's not what you would want to do when the etiology of the problem is infectious, okay? You don't want to suppress the immune system. You want the immune system to fight. That's what you, that's what ideally what you would like. So knowing the true root cause and etiology of an illness or of symptoms, it matters a lot because it's going to dictate the type of treatment that's going to be most effective. And so I would encourage all of you that have strange diagnoses like Morgellons, like MS, like rheumatoid arthritis, not that they're strange, but um, lupus, uh, Sjogren's, most autoimmune diseases are generally caused by some sort of infection. And you simply have to identify it. And um, I think that, you know, we're coming to a place where we understand um, how much infection is playing a role in disease etiology. And some of that has been exacerbated by COVID. Clearly, COVID can cause some of these things as well. So, I would suggest that you get tick-borne illness um, testing for any of the autoimmune diseases and to see a Lyme literate doctor. That would be the best way to get uh, your symptoms handled and um, properly figured out. So I hope this information has helped you and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.